Um, back on the topic of PCOS, I forgot to mention uh, something that was brought to my attention on a couple of years ago, I guess. Um, that there's a link between having PCOS and cervical cancer. And I was never told this by my doctor. It's, um, and they are now advocating to just get your cervix removed if you have PCOS. Um, and the, the young woman who was telling me this has recently, recently been married, like less than a year she, her, her, from her wedding date. And she told me that she got diagnosed with PCOS. And she knew it, I, you know, I talked about it before, so she, so she was talking to me about it. And then they were advocating that she have her cervix removed. Now remember, she just got married, she's young, she's not had kids yet. <clears throat> and they told her that she's probably not, you know, it's going to be difficult for her to have kids because she had PCOS. Well, she has a child now. Uh, she didn't have that surgery. I tried to talk to her about changing her diet, and she kept saying, but it's so hard. You know, she's, she's used to eating what she's used to eating. She didn't want to make those changes. Um, she ended up having to do several courses of antibiotics, back-to-back uh, -back practically, and it, she, she put on the weight. She a beautiful young girl, still beautiful, and it was devastating to her. She just got married. She should be so happy. You know, her life, you know, just, she was in the fullness of it, and then get this news that, yeah, the, the doctor's recommending she have her cervix removed so she doesn't get cancer, um, that she's not going to have any kids. You know, that's just not going to be an option for her. It, it was, uh, and my heart just broke. And there's so many young women now with this um, diagnosis, with this label now. And, and then they're being told that they, you know, that they, that they are now at a risk for this and that and all this other stuff. And, and my heart just goes out to them. So there's a lot more information coming up. I, I don't have the cure. I just have some... Fixes. I, I'm not a medical person. Uh, uh, I've worked at a hospital, but that doesn't qualify me to give medical advice. I'm just sharing what's working for me, what's happened to me, what's um, not worked for me, um, and what's what I'm learning from other people. Excuse me. <clears throat> and that's that's. Um, you know, cancer is a big, you know, that's the boogeyman now. Everyone's getting cancer. Kids are getting cancer. It's on the rise. Uh, everything's on the rise. So, um, not just cancers, all sorts of forms of cancers, all sorts of um, uh, digestive issues, um, Crohn's, irritable bowel, celiacs, um, di diverticulitis. That's, that's now like almost common with people my age and older. People um, getting intest parts of their intestines having to be removed and a very strict, you know, avoidance of nuts and seeds. Um, and, and that just, you know, just like a, it's, a, it's a downhill thing after that. And you just need to, um, the young people, you got to start now. Um, you don't want any of these down the road okay it's not worth it you got to make those changes now and as this young lady kept saying but it's so hard and and putting yourself at risk for cancer or never having children and she 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 comes from a big family and she wants a big family and it's like yeah it is hard but so is life in general you just you have to pick your battles and if that convenience food is worth those risks by all means do it that, that's that's everyone's choice it's my choice I mean I like to go through Wendy's every now and then and get their spicy chicken sandwich uh, Chick-fil-a is oh, it's a weakness of mine thank God they're closed on Sundays because that's when I usually crave it the most um, a croissant yeah but I know that there's a price I, I pay for a couple of days of pain, knee pain, um, it, all sorts of joint pains. My fingers swell up. It's hard to type, so Facebooking is not as easy. Um, but, you know, we pay a price. So this whole thing, um, 
of PCOS, I truly, truly believe that there's a way to cure it. And, it, and I believe it's diet. I believe there's some fasting involved, not just, when I say diet, don't think um, uh, I'm going to do cabbage soup for a month and I'm going to lose X amount of, of pounds. Um, when I say diet, I'm talking lifestyle. This is how you're going to eat the rest of your life. If you, if you do any sort of diet, um, whether it's prepackaged meals, whether it's um, counting points or um, cabbage soup. Uh, I like cabbage soup. I, I make that as a, as a enjoyment for us, um, but not as weight loss. So anything that you are only going to do for a short time, you're probably going to rebound on the weight. If you lose weight on it, um, you're probably going to get that. And usually you get a little extra tagged on. And we need to learn from that. So uh, yeah, I'm not going to say this is easy. You know, there is a... a I had to do a lot of rethinking and relabeling things in my mind. Instead of being deprived, instead of focusing on, I cannot have this anymore, I looked at this big list of, I can have all these still. And then there were some new things I was like, oh yeah, that's, I like trying new foods. So, um, I just encourage you to find out, you know, get be informed. There's a lot, maybe too much information out there. And talk to people you really respect that, that it's working for. Okay? Now, looking at me, obviously I don't have it 100% right. Okay? Right out there, this is me still in transition, still learning and sharing what I've learned. So, Take it for whatever it's worth. You know, you, you do your own research and then you try, you experiment on yourself. You change your own diet and see, okay, cut out high fructose corn syrup and see if that nagging hunger goes away. And go, oh, okay, if that, that went away for you, then go, okay, you need to just get it all out of your house. Just get it out, go, go on. No, even the skinny people in your home doesn't, they don't need that. Um, now they make like simply ketchup and some of the stuff's like, oh wow, that tastes like just like I remember as a kid. Duh. So um, it's definitely a difference in taste. And it's more pleasurable because that's what I grew up with versus what you might have grown up with if you're a younger person used to the high fructose corn syrup. So maybe you'll like it, maybe not. I don't know. Make your own ketchup. I did had to end up doing that for a while. Uh, there's a thing called Amish uh, tomato butter. And that to me tasted more like old-fashioned ketchup than ketchup recipes I was finding so uh, just play with it and maybe you'll like something even better and it's not so hard when you don't focus on what you're missing out on and you've got new favorites so I hope this helps thanks for watching